Hi, first, um, thank you so much, uh, Mike and Brad, for inviting us because this has really been a lot of fun. Um, first of all, I'm really excited to see some so many people here on a Wednesday night. Uh, it's really cool. So I'm Bonnie Grover, and I'm president of Connectify, but I'm here really to talk about our new product called Speedify. And I want to talk to you about three issues that I experience on a daily basis, and what or what should I do about them? One. The car key is never hung up in the right location. I can never find it. Two, understanding my teenage daughter. It's incredibly complicated these days. And the third issue, and I think everyone in this room has probably experienced it, is slow, unreliable internet. I've decided I can solve issues one and two, but I can't solve issues one and two, so we decided to solve issue number three, which is how to um, fix slow, unrivaled internet. So I want to do a shout out for the <coughs> Department of Making and Doing downstairs. I made my t-shirt here. Everyone deserves um, good internet. So, but everyone doesn't really have good internet all the time. In fact, 30% of the people in the U.S. still don't have broadband access at home. And when you're traveling and staying in a hotel, forget about it. Your Wi-Fi is incredibly slow. I mean, does anybody have that experience when they're at the hotel? And it costs $100. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And uh, how many people have taken the Amtrak and used that Amtrak Wi-Fi? Is that awesome? That Wi-Fi, in and out, in and out, in and out. And just when you're about to send that email, it goes out. Um, so we decided to say, what makes, okay. so what makes a good internet connection? The recipe for a good internet connection is pretty simple. All you need is speed and reliability. But when you've got slow and flaky connections, what do you do about them? And you have a lot of them. So we thought, why can't you combine Connections, you know, take your Wi-Fi, take your tethered cell phone, take the DSL. Why can't you combine them? It's simple math. Two or more connections will give you a better connection. So it turns out combining internet connections is rocket science. And why do you think we were the right team to do something like this? So a little bit background on Connectify. Um, Connectify Hotspot is the world's most popular hotspot PC software. We've had over 2 billion hotspots started with our software since we launched in 2010. So we felt like we could solve this problem. Well, if I knew it would take us three years and all this gray hair, I would not have done it. So I'm going to talk about Speedify. Voila! This is Speedify. Um, Speedify is cloud-based software that lets Mac and PC users combine Wi-Fi, 3G, internet, DSL, and any other internet connections to create a more faster and more reliable connection. In tech speak, this is called channel bonding. So channel bonding lets you, lets you divide your internet traffic packet by packet so even a single streaming movie can be spread all across your internet connections. So this is the easy to use interface of Speedify with the very rock science, rock, rocket science technology behind it. So the blue line of the rainbow, right here, that blue line, shows the combined download speed of all your internet connections. Are people carrying a lot of more than like, do people tether their cell phones in here? Yeah? Do you people, yeah? And have bad Wi-Fi on the, on the train? No, because I use your product. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I did not plant him. <laughs> I wish I did, but. Um, and um, the purple line 
here shows you the combined upload speed. So it's a really like simple to use user interface. And then these three, below the rainbow, you can see all the various internet connections that Speedify is using. Right. So now I'm gonna just show you like sort of, uh, the movie of using Speedify. All right. So as you can see, with just one crappy Wi-Fi connection connected to Speedify, I'm only getting about 300 kilobytes per second. My movie's gonna take an hour to download. So now, I'm gonna add, see it's just taking its time to download over Dropbox. Now I'm gonna add my tethered cell phone to the connection over Speedify. And with that, I'm gonna get about six, now the movie's only gonna take me about a half hour to download, so about 600 kilobytes per second. So it's doubling my speed. What's cool is that Speedify gives you reliability also. So if one of my connection disappears, now if you had no, like if you were just using the Wi-Fi to download and it's crappy and it stops working, all of a sudden, your connection, if your connection stops working, then your file will stop downloading. It sucks. So, but when we use Speedify, and you're using both your connections, and then you take out a connection, all of a sudden, it doesn't matter, because it's still downloading, because it's going over Speedify. So, I think this is pretty neat. And uh, so, just to go over this, my download started on the Wi-Fi, then I went to the Wi-Fi and then the iPhone, and then I took away the Wi-Fi, and I just used my iPhone, and it still was downloading. So this is what it's all about, good internet. I don't know any, I know people, I live with the teenagers, and if they don't have their internet, oh my God, we're gonna die. And I bet you a lot of people in this room, if you don't have your internet working or your connections working, it's pretty dead, it's close to die. So, that's what we invented. And um, so the good thing about Speedify, it's free to try out. We're getting the first one gig is on us. And go check it out, speedify.com. Thank you. I was a little nervous. <laughs> Oh, you did great, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shadow bomb now. <laughs> Questions? Uh, what about uploading videos? Um, I'm a videotape editor, and I'd like my client to see the rough edit. And uh, it's a lot, a lot of it is in HD, so that takes a lot of time. So, so. we actually, um, we just, most of the uh, Bloomberg, the video, you know, Bloomberg uh, photographer, head of Bloomberg photographer, just got like a lot, a lot of licenses because of that reason. Because he had to upload from the field, you know, and he always had, you know, he has like a cell phone, he has a MiFi, and it was just really important for him to get the stuff back to, you know, um, back to his, his, back to his station and stuff. So they're really loving it. And the one person who totally, when I was so excited when he bought it, was the, uh, you know, the extreme weather people love Speedify. They really do. Like, I mean, you know, this winter, I was like, oh my gosh, that guy is using Speedify. He was all like, you know, it was really exciting. He sent us an email. And so, you know, test it out. All I can say is test it out. Nobody else? Thanks. One more? Oh, one more. Do you think if you didn't cancel your Kickstarter, you would have gone to market faster? Um, no. Uh, I think that, so we were on Kickstarter with this, uh, and then we realized that it wasn't the right place for us, and so we took it off, and then you know what we did? And which is what every entrepreneur in here should be doing, is making money. We said, you want to use it, you pay us. And we got beta customers. 
Beta customers are your most important thing. And people who even give you one dollar will test it better than people who give you zero. Because all of a sudden, you're inv they're invested. So everybody who tried out Speedify as a beta customer played with it. We had about 3,000 people give us money to play with a beta of Speedify over a year. And we kept putting out new and new releases. I suggest this. I mean, I love betas, I test beta, I love to try out things, but if I give you a dollar, I'm gonna try it out better. So go ask for the dollar, because you're gonna get more serious people testing your product. And that really worked for us. You know, we didn't let people test it for free. And I really recommend that. And I think the best thing about Kickstarter, and I'm going back to Kickstarter, because we have done a Kickstarter campaign, is you get people testing your product and seriously giving you advice. If you're giving out things for free, a lot of times people don't give you advice and don't test it. So that is my one big takeaway. Charge, charge, charge. Even if it's a dollar, I will take you more seriously if I give you my dollar. Thanks, Bobby.